I actually had an incident about two weeks ago. My blood sugar crashed. It went too low and I didn't pay attention to what I ate because I was just too busy mentally. I remember laying down while the kid was playing the video games <laughs> and I just told him to turn it down and I just like went to sleep. I had cellulitis, it almost killed me. Um, I had hurt my foot. I didn't even know what cellulitis was. And I go, man, my leg's really warm. I don't know what's going on, I didn't know what it was. You know, I thought I'd burn myself in the shower maybe. And I found I, I had something. So we, the doctor goes, no, I think you have blood poison. Go to the doctor right away. So they think I have flesh eating bacteria. They're going to cut my leg off. So they have a standby team right there. No water, no food. We're going to cut your leg off. I ended up waking up not being able to swallow my own saliva. So I couldn't really breathe. And I felt like I was choking. Since uh, my kid was in the room, he noticed that I was sweating. So he tried to bring me something, but I was unresponsive. But then I found I have cellulitis. And I said, well, we, I was just going to the doctor on Monday. And the doctor said, David, you'd be in the morgue on Saturday. My roommate came in. He didn't know what was going on, but he immediately went to, you know, call 911. My heart rate was off the charts. They gave me uh, heparin and shots and, I mean, IVs, and I was in the hospital for two days. When they took my blood sugar, I was at 55. So I was, again, on my way out. I didn't even hear of cellulitis. So here's a part of diabetes I didn't even know existed, you know, and it's due to my diabetes. You know, that was a bad day. <laughs> my name is Linda. My name is Moses. My name is Ed. My name is Shari Ohanif. My name is David, and I'm living with type 2 diabetes. I'm 53 years old. I uh, was diagnosed in 2006. I, I thought, I knew something was wrong. I had high blood pressure and high cholesterol, but I was like thirsty all the time. Very tired. You know, morning time, wake up, sweat, very tired. So tired. I was wondering what was going on. I was kind of scared because see, my mom, had diabetes, my father, uh, my grandmother had diabetes, so I sort of knew it might be coming. And everyone in my family, I have a large family, and everyone has it. Father side, the whole family, my aunt, my uncle. When I was first diagnosed, I think I spent two or three years just finding the right medication. At first, I was kind of really, I guess, upset at myself because I could have prevented it. Diabetes education, you have to kind of ask for it, you know, like anything else, you know. Uh, you don't have to be the squeaky wheel. You just, Sometimes in the military, in the, in the VA, it's not that there's not a program, it's just that you don't know there's a program. So then you got to kind of find it yourself and then you tell somebody else. A lot of stuff I've heard about, I've actually heard from other veterans, you know. I wish there was a better system to get the word out. Sometimes, you know, people say to the diabetic, they don't eat much, they don't eat, they eat very little bit. It's not right. Have to eat have to eat. One thing I wish I would have known back then and probably would have helped me along the way would have to be nutrition consciousness. In my school sometimes we had cheeseburger days from McDonald's, you know, so they weren't really too conscious of what they would what they were feeding us or what was going on. My name is Nadez Sheehan. I am the co-founder and president of the Peter Sheehan Diabetes Care Foundation, the PSDCF. My husband was a very, very kind man, and he just wanted to help everyone. His goal would be a, to see a world without type 2 diabetes, and that is what the Foundation's goal is, and that is our mission. I'm Patrick Sheehan. I'm the co-founder and vice president of the Peter Sheehan Diabetes Care Foundation, and Dr. Sheehan was my father. The mission of the Peter Sheehan Diabetes Care Foundation is to improve the lives of everyone afflicted with type 2 diabetes, whether it be the patient who was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes or his or her family that has to care and support for them on a daily basis. My husband was considered as a visionary. He was a very renowned specialist in the field of diabetes and very well respected. We target prevention and management of type 2 diabetes and we focus very much at the community level. There's only so much that can be done between the walls of a clinic. At the community level, we see empathy that is unlike any other. We want to empower communities to self-manage their type 2 diabetes because we firmly believe that that will lead to more positive outcomes for the individual because it's a lifestyle disease. My father always said, your genetics load the gun, but your lifestyle pulls the trigger. To really have optimum health, we have to be pioneers. We all have to. Every individual has to say, I'm gonna find a better way to do this. I'm gonna find a better way to live my life, and when I find it, I'm gonna enthusiastically share it with others. The healthcare industry is at a tipping point, and we see an opportunity to significantly improve the state of type two diabetes care all around the world. My father was a very empathetic man, and um, one of the things he taught me is you can find gratification 
and meet the needs of people without any expectation. And that's one of the things that fuels my passion with this foundation. My husband was very passionate about his work and we are committed to continuing his legacy at the Peter Sheehan Diabetes Care Foundation.